as a freelancer, you should always have your elevator pitch ready. I'm learning to thrive in the gig economy. Would you like to learn too? I assume everybody knows what an elevator pitch is, but just to a reminder, what that is is it's a short spiel in which you can describe your product or your services to a potential client if you happen to be on an elevator with them while you're going up to the top floor. So it doesn't have it shouldn't be very long, it should be very specific. And it should definitely focus on what benefits they would receive. For instance, what I do when I talk about my business is I say, I'm Bruce Rule, and I can help you communicate better, uh, whether it's writing or editing. You give me your thoughts or you give me your writings, I'll edit it or I will write it for you. And I will do blog posts, I can do social media, I can do reports, articles, reports. I do all kinds of writing materials for my clients. And they range from retailers to accountants to lawyers to organizations. Basically, I can handle about everything. I've got 40 years of experience of writing and editing, and uh, I can pretty much definitely help you communicate better. How can I help you? It's pretty straightforward, right? Notice I focus on helping them. I give them some background on me, and I, I move forward. I was at a bookstore event the other day. This local bookstore wanted to explain how local authors could get their books on the, on the shelves. And as part of that event, they asked one of the authors that are on the bookshelf to get up and talk about the process. <laughs> and he got up. And the first thing he said was, well, I didn't prepare anything. I thought we were going to do a Q&A. You were just going to ask me questions. And the host said, no, no, no. Just tell them about the process that you went through to get the book uh, on the shelf. And then he spent about five minutes rambling. And I use that word specifically because twice during those five minutes, he said, I know I'm rambling, but I didn't prepare anything. He digressed so badly that at one point, his wife called out from the audience, Hey, why don't you talk about book signing at the store? And he went, Oh, yeah, okay. And he talked about how to do a book signing at the store. He ended by saying again, I didn't prepare anything. I thought I was doing a Q&A. And then he sat down. What he didn't do. He didn't tell us his full name. The host just referred to him as Bill, so I don't even know who he is. He was so nervous and unprepared that he didn't even have the title of his book in his head. He said, uh, it's something like, uh, it's um, living in Delaware, but I, I, I don't remember the whole title. I was like, you don't even remember the title of your book? Oh my goodness. By the time he sat down, I'm not the only one in the audience who was thinking, boy, this was a flop for him. <laughs> he had an opportunity to tell us who he was and what his book was. Now, granted, he was doing it for the bookstore. He was explaining the process, but he had an opportunity to sell his product. Now, what he should have done, of course, is when the host called him up, instead of saying, oh, I thought it was going to be Q&A, he should have had his elevator pitch available. I just pulled it out. Hi, I'm Bill so-and-so. My book is blah, blah, blah. It's about blah, blah, blah. Here's the process that I used to get in the bookstore. That's all. That's, he could have been very short and sweet. And he should never have criticized the host. It's just not done. You know, it made him look bad. Uh, and I'm sure it didn't make the host feel any better either. Make sure you have your elevator pitch at all times. Make sure you understand it. If you have to, practice it in front of your mirror numerous times until you can sort of say it with, in a natural way, almost off the top of your, your head. Anytime somebody asks you who you are or what you do, I help people communicate better. Nice and simple. You know, it's a nice and simple phrase that I use. It's a nice and simple way I say it.
because I'm comfortable with that spiel. I've used it for many years with many clients. Learn your elevator pitch. If you find this helpful, please share this because I do think it's really important for freelancers of any type, entrepreneurs of any type, to know that they have to have their elevator pitch ready at all times. Please like and share this video. Please hit the subscribe button. And uh, until next week, take care.